This is the communication layout tab. And the purpose of this layout is to collect the findings we created when we were in the checking layout and formulate results in such a form that it makes it easy to communicate those findings with, for example, the design team. Let's start by collecting our findings by clicking create a new presentation or click to add new presentation. Let's name this presentation project 123. We may also use prefixes, for example, uh, in this example, we'll use phase one. Next, you select the rule sets that you want to include. In this case, we have one rule set with two slides created. Let's select this. Now we're able to go through these one by one. You may also add new slides on the fly, like this. So we can create a viewpoint create new slide and if we want to we could add a comment so we have our slide here uh, we can move the slide to, to the top just by clicking move up and then we can go forward slide by slide there's also a full screen mode available it's a very convenient way to share results with a wider audience. Now let's go ahead and if we hit play, we would run this as a presentation. Let's switch back to the standard mode. We can also assign tasks or update the slide or its comments from the communication layout. So if we double click, we can now click on the coordination tab. We can also apply the search command in the communication layout, allowing us to search all slides for specific details. For example, maybe we only want to show slides assigned to a specific party or with a specific status, or maybe search for a keyword. Next step would be to generate a report. So let's create a coordination report. Now we'll save the report, and the report will now open as a spreadsheet. You can see responsibilities, who the author was, required actions, and the status of the case. This report can also be modified to fit your corporate standards or to reflect the current project as needed.